Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, lesson number two of our course of structure and uh, My name is Oscar Jaime Restrepo. I'm professor of the School of Mines of the Universidad Nacional de Colombia, in Medellín, Chile. Uh, this is the second class about the, uh, this uh, interesting topic. The first class was about the some introduction we present uh, how to uh, view the, the, the metallurgy, the main topics in metallurgy, structural metallurgy. And now we are going to discuss this class, this lesson, and the lesson number three about the structural metallurgy of metal, the most important metals about collections. Um, metals uh, are very important in our society, and we are presented the best practices to obtain that kind of metals. Okay, it's important to, to, to discover, to present, that exists uh, different classification of the metals. Uh, one of the most important classification is about the origin of the, of the metals, or the materials uh, to apply or to use. First, the first group is the ferrous materials, uh, are the materials that metals are, are uh, produced with iron steel production, iron, and the steel industry. That's uh, very, very important. And it's necessary to consider all the topics related to this uh, metallurgy and these metals. And the other group is the non ferrous metals or non ferrous materials. Uh, they are very important because are very, uh, it's a lot of uh, metals that are, are use, useful Use, are used in our society, like aluminum, copper, uh, magnesium, zinc, uh, lead, nickel, magnesium, uh, stand, uh, tin, titanium, okay? Uh, and the uh, other materials or metals like gold and precious uh, metals that are very important. Why, why are very important that kind of metals? Because they have uh, corrosion resistance. They are very important, uh, like like light metals, because they are lightweight. Some of them, like aluminium, beryllium, magnesium, for instance. Um, some of them have uh, wear resistance. Um, properties, different kind of properties like gold thermal and lead conductivity. Mm, they, they have mechanic, not, not only mechanical properties like the steel, like iron, they have uh, chemical properties, uh, they have thermal properties, they have uh, electrical properties, ele electromagnetic properties, and are very, very important group of metals. That's why we are going to study these, these groups, the ferrous, ferrous materials and no ferrous materials, they are the, the importance of these materials. Uh, but this is, this is not the only classification that exists about metals. Exists another, another uh, uh, classifications like uh, heavy metals, light metals, or ultra light metals. It depends on the density. Uh, if we consider the heavy metals, uh, are the group of metals that have more than five kilograms per, per quick meter, like copper, like lead, zinc, tin, nickel, chromium, gold, mercury, tungsten, of course, iron. Are very, are, they are considered heavy metals. And there exists another classification that is very important, like uh, the mm -hmm. classification of the light metals and ultra light metals. Uh, light metals, the most important are uh, aluminum, density is uh, 2.7 uh, grams per cubic centimeters, uh, and titanium. Titanium is 4.5, something like this. Um, Ultra light metals like uh, magnesium and beryllium. Uh, magnesium is uh, magnesium and beryllium is the, 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 the density is lower than two grams per uh, cubic centimeters. Uh, very important, very important in the industry uh, or in the in the uh, uh, aerospatial industry are very very important. Are in our society is very important to have. 
uh, light metals like aluminum because every day are growing in importance. Okay, but talking about, we are going in this class, we are going to focus the attention in the, the met extractive metallurgy of iron to produce steel and to produce iron. Okay, it's, it's a very important uh, consideration to have uh, the options to, to know, to know about the, the, the goal, okay? Uh, first of all, it's important to talk or to explain the main properties of uh, iron. Uh, it's, uh, it's called a transition metal. Uh, the atomic weight is uh, 56 grams. And he is in the, in the classification of the uh, transition metals. It's very important in the periodic table of the elements. Mm. It's, it's important, iron is very important because it's one of the uh, more abundant elements in the Earth's crust. Uh, I think it's the four, important, the four uh, element in importance in the crust after silicon, uh, aluminum, and uh, oxygen, okay? Uh, iron is very important. And at the same time, it has uh, magnetic properties, uh, and mechanical properties, uh, very important mechanical resistance, and is the, is the base, is the fun is, uh, element fundamental to obtain steel, and ferro alloys materials is very important. Um, in the history of the humanity, gold is very important, iron is very important, sorry, because the men, the men discover uh, how to produce metals with iron. Uh, we, we, in, in the history of the humanity, you, we have the possibility to to prepare to, to, to classify the, the age of the stone age and the metal age. And the metal age is based on iron, of iron. Iron is one of the most important metals in the history of the humanity. And um, we discover how to work with iron uh, every day, every day. And during, during the 19th century, we discover how to produce steel. Uh, how to produce this special alloy. We are going to discuss about alloy um, more uh, in, in, this, in this class, uh, but it's, it's necessary to say, we discover how to produce steel in the, in the, in the middle of the uh, 19th century, but every day we are learning a lot. We are learning a lot. Uh, some people say that none of new materials like iron, like steel, because the steel is every day changing. In every moment you are discover new properties, discover new possibilities in order to find new properties. It's, it's, it, you change on the special proper, uh, composition of the, uh, 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 the alloy in order to, to obtain steel. You change one of the elements and the properties change. And it's important to, to discover that it's, it's, it's a great it's a great metal. I know our society is based on on, on iron iron. Uh, in this moment, the production of uh, steel is like uh, one hundred uh, one point six million tons per year. It's a very big production, and near to four hundred millions tons per year. 1.6 thousand million tons of steel and 400 tons, of 400, 400 ton millions of uh, tons of iron. It means near to 2,000 millions of tons of iron products. It's the most important metal in our society. Is the bigger production of metals, and it's necessary to uh, to discover that iron is very important in our society. We produce a lot of different materials with, uh, with steel, cars, uh, elements from home, uh, elements of the daily day, daily life. Look at around you, around our 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 daily life. We have a lot of. Uh, 
possibilities to use steel and every day is growing. It's very important to understand the influence of steel in our lives. It's, it's very, very important. About the raw materials to produce steel, uh, it means who is the, who is the, which are the ore to obtain steel, to obtain iron and products of steel. The first is, uh, the first mineral to obtain steel is hematite. Hematite is uh, iron, uh, ferric oxide. Ferric oxide is, is a very common, it's very common in our cross, in the, in the air cross. And uh, is the response, the, the iron, uh, hematite had the responsibility to pigment uh, the red color in the cross. This is very important, very important raw material to produce pigments, to produce colors. This is the most important, the most important ore to obtain steel. But exists another, another possibilities, exists another minerals like lamonite, it's an uh, uh, iron uh, hydroxide, uh, magnetite. Magnetite is a, is a mixture of two kinds of oxides, uh, uh, ferric oxide and ferrous oxide. The combination of that um, uh, material, that, that oxides, is the magnetite. Magnetite is a special of spinel. Uh, spinel is, is, a, is a special association of metals with oxide, oxygen, oxygen. Uh, the first metal is uh, a metal with a plus three balance, and like this, plus three balance, and another metal with plus two bal uh, balances. Okay, these two metals combined with oxygen, uh, we have an spinel structure. Okay, magnetite is an spinel structure and it's very important to consider the, the condition of this raw material to obtain steel okay <clears throat> the other is goetite goetite is another hydrox hydroxide hydroxide uh, and is very common exist th 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 these are not the only materials only minerals to produce steel but are the more common the the, the ore the ore of the uh, to obtain iron to produce steel is hematite okay exists uh, another minerals like carbonite Carbonate is uh, siderite. Siderite is uh, a carbonate uh, structure, a carbonate mineral to obtain uh, uh, iron. Another mineral to obtain iron is py pyrite. Pyrite um, is a, a iron sulfur. It's very common in the crust, in the, in the air crust, but it's not the most. It's not very important to obtain to obtain iron. Okay. Okay. The science that study the obtention of iron to produce steel is named siderurgy. Okay, the extractive metallurgy of iron, the name is siderurgy. It's very, very important uh, science and is very, very important activity in the whole world. It's necessary to understand the main principles uh, to, to, to guide the science of siderurgy. Okay, siderurgy is a uh, science and technology uh, to obtain and extract and production of iron and steel. Uh, it's a definition of the book of uh, Jose Sancho. Jose Sancho was my older, my former professor at the School of Mines in Oviedo University at Spain. Uh, it's, it's very important to, to know, it's very important to consider, it's very important to consider the, the main principles of uh, siderurgy in order to understand how is the production of iron and steel. Uh, it's necessary to say that siderurgy uh, has at least three different um, groups. Uh, the integrate siderurgy, the integrate siderurgy is uh, the process to obtain minerals, uh, to to, to produce uh, iron and steel uh, based on uh, transformation of minerals. Uh, the second group is the semi-integrate siderurgy. Uh, semi-integrate siderurgy is based on the recycling of scrap. It's uh, the possibility to, to make metallurgy of scrap. 
And the third group of uh, cirurgy is the uh, uh, re direct reduction of uh, raw materials uh, and to produce agglomerates. Okay. In this, in this uh, image, in this graph, we could uh, discuss about the main processes, main processes to obtain the gold. Okay. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to, to explain this part of the, of the graph. Uh, here we had the iron ore, the iron ore, the typical, as I, I explained to you, the, the, the typical ore is uh, hematite. Hematite, but could be another, a mixture of uh, raw materials. Okay? You obtain the, uh, the ore from the mine, but not necessarily you uh, feed the, the ore directly to the pollens. Uh, sometimes it's very common and it's very useful to agglomerate the ore, agglomerate the ore uh, to producing uh, sinter or um, different kinds of agglomerates, uh, nodules uh, uh, or sinter, sinter products, okay? Uh, or pellets could be possible to obtain, okay? This is the first raw material. Uh, the second raw material to produce steel is coal, remember? Uh, uh, steel is a mixture, it's an alloy for uh, iron and coal and on other metals, okay? Um, in next uh, slides, I will present the specific condition to obtain steel, or is necessary to obtain coal. Both coal is not possible to fit like we obtain from the mine. No, it's necessary to transport the coal to produce coke, okay? That's why it's necessary to have a uh, production of coke in, in different kinds of ovens. Okay, this is the second raw material. And the third raw material is limestone. Why limestone, okay? Uh, look at this, the, the temperature to, to, to to produce uh, the, the liquid of uh, iron is very high, more than 1.5 thousand grades centigrade. Okay, that is very difficult to obtain that kind of temperatures. That's why we use limestone because li limestone is abundant. It's a possibility to to to, uh, to obtain lower temperatures to uh, produce uh, the liquid. Okay, limestone. Or it's not the only one. You could use limestone or feldsparks or a mixture of carbonates, uh, calcium carbonate or magnesium magnesium carbonate, something like this. It's a mixture of raw materials that is um, could be possible to reduce the temperature of uh, fusion or the, or the metals or the metal. Okay. The other is to produce uh, coke. Uh, is necessary to uh, eliminate the uh, from gases and uh, you need only the carbon structure of, of, of coke okay and before to feed the pornance is possible to prepare a, a agglomerate uh, like uh, as i said to you uh, sinter or pellet or nodules to uh, feed the, the, the furnace in the best condition Okay, here is the, the, the possibility to, to hide the, the, the oven. This is the oven. Uh, high furnace, uh, blast is a blast furnace. And this, in this process, in this process, you, you, you mix the raw materials. Uh, the the, the, the furnace are very different, so different class, uh, kinds of furnace, but the typical uh, is the blast furnace, the blast furnace, uh, the typical platform is uh, 15 meters, 15 or 20 meters high. And you make the mixture here and obtain the molten iron. Yes, in the last forms. This is the, the integrate, integrate the region, okay? Uh, after the process, we are going to see the, the condition here. The idea is to reduce the raw material, to reduce the uh, iron oxide. To obtain, to obtain only iron. Iron we call. This first product is named peak iron. Peak iron is the, is the, is the result, is the product of the blast furnace. Okay, 
you produce blast in the blast furnace you produce iron it's molten molten iron if the name is peak iron peak iron has near to five percent of coal but it's, it's, it's very high because to obtain steel you need less than two percent of uh, coal that's why this is the second part of the cirurgy processing is the basic oxygen formants is the converter here in the converter you eliminate the excess of coal introducing oxygen oxygen in the in the, in the mixture okay uh, the oxygen reacts with coal to produce to produce co2 co co or co2 and the material is now steel here is the third part of the processing and the name is uh, secondary metallurgy the secondary metallurgy uh, steel refining facilities here you mix the raw materials and other raw materials like different metals uh, or ferros no ferros uh, or uh, ferros to, to produce uh, ferros alloys like uh, chrome chromium or nickel to produce uh, stainless steel or vanadium or wolframium or tungsten okay different different manganese different different elements in order to produce the final the final uh, steel okay it depends on the or the or the needs of the production and this is the first the second the third and the fourth part of the processing is the continuous casting we are going to produce casting to produce the solid product after after produce the the the, the final alloy you need to put it in solid to produce uh, different kind of products like slabs thin slabs blooms bullets uh, bullets uh, different kind of products in order to produce all that products and uh, other products that needs iron okay this is the first line of production okay the second the second line or the second group of production is the use of uh, in uh, electric furnace uh, is the utilizing the scrap using the scrap or recycling recycling steel you call you you take the the, the, the the scrap and go to the electric furnace okay go to electric furnace to produce the the materials and, the, and then you after you have the the molten product you go to the uh, secondary metallurgy processing okay you produce here the recycling of scrap go to electric iron furnace and then produce the molten steel this is uh, uh, the second the second possibility to produce the uh, uh, to have the metallurgy cirurgy processing and then after the R electric furnace you go to the secondary metallurgy to uh, adapt uh, the product to the final uh, condition okay and then you produce the continue casting this is the second possibility and the third group is the direct production the direct production is to know two different um, steps of the processing uh, but you could um, use a, a direct production in order to produce uh, metallic uh, metallic uh, minerals from the ore. Here is necessary to make some uh, uh, adequate the, the, the molten the, the molten product in order to obtain the final uh, composition of the mixture. And then, uh, as all the products uh, do, go to the secondary metallurgy processing in order to define the final alloy, the final, the final composition of the alloy, and then go to the uh, 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 casting. In, in the old times, uh, it, it was very common to produce no continuous uh, casting uh, in order to, to produce uh, different blocks of minerals. What is now now in this moment is not very common. Here is it starts here start the physical metallurgy because it is necessary to change the conditions. But extractive metallurgy of iron is here. All the conditions is made, prepared here. This is uh, one short view. You have the, the different raw materials, the ore, iron ore, 
the coal, like coke, and the limestone, like the fundant. You make the mixture, uh, feed the blast furnace, here the blast furnace, the, the different parts, the different uh, conditions, uh, temperature condition and reaction condition here in the blast furnace, to obtain products like, uh, like the pick iron, pick iron here is the molten iron, and the other is the slag. It's very, very important to consider the slag. Uh, in this course, we are going to discuss the possibilities, all the possibilities, and all the uh, activities, uh, all the products we, we generate in astrochemicology. Here we have at least three products, different products. The, the product of interest is the iron, iron, the peak iron, in this, part, in this part, in the blast formula, the peak iron is the first. The second is the slag, and the third are the gases. Okay, we had the responsibility to, to work with all these lines. The final product, but at the same time with the slag, and the same time with the gases. It's necessary to consider that conditions in order to define how to present or how to, the, to, to uh, consider these products. It's an environmental condition. It's a, it's a great, it's the great importance in our world, like a professionals. We have to consider all the conditions, not only the final product, also the slag, uh, solid residues, uh, at the same time with the gases. It's necessary to consider that situation, okay? Uh, in the blast formula, we had different uh, zones, the recovery zones, the chemical reserve zones, and the work area. Work area is the zone we had the re reaction, reactions, the different, different, different reaction we had in the, in the, in the, in the furnace. And the, in the bottom of the furnace, we have the, the, the peak iron product, the molten iron, and at the same time in the per, in the, in the, or in the upper uh, position, the, the slacks, okay? Uh, we, move the, the, we move the furnace in order to obtain one and other product. And in the, par, in the upper part of the, blow, of the furnace, we have the gases, the sun of the, to obtain gases. Okay. And the main reactions we have in the blast furnace, the different zones of the, or, the, or, the, or, the, the furnace, is the reduction of coal. Okay, we have coal, and it's a reaction of uh, combustion reaction to obtain CO, CO, CO2, and this uh, very important uh, reaction is the boudoir reaction. And finally, the reaction of uh, reduction of iron. This is the iron, iron, ox iron oxide uh, is reduced, is reduced by CO to obtain iron and CO2 product. Okay, it's a very important reaction. And, and the, the situation to obtain the reaction is using the Boudoir reaction. The Boudoir reaction is a very important reaction. Uh, in the in the formulas. It's necessary to consider and to study not only the thermodynamical topics, also the cinetic topic topics to understand the situation, to understand the condition, and to under, uh, uh, understand the zones of stability. This is an equilibrium stability, the equilibrium gas to obtain iron, uh, uh, ferrosus material, ferrosus iron, and ferric uh, iron independent of the raw material we decided to work. Okay, so imagine some graphs that shows the different kind of uh, steel kind of operation and it's so thank you. And this uh, graph is a very important graph about the iron alloy, uh, uh, iron and, car and coal uh, alloy uh, to obtain steel. Okay, steel is here, steel is here, steel is less than 2% of uh, coal is steel, and more than 2% of coal is cast iron, very important. Here, I said here is the most important alloy to 1.6 uh, thousand millions of tons per year. And this is the second product, the iron, cast iron, to produce 400,000 uh, tons per year. And the different kinds of uh, possibilities to obtain uh, metals, to obtain gold is uh, Mm. 
uh, possibility to obtain the steel or to obtain the iron cast iron and the possibility of different temperatures to work. Here are the austenite part, the ferrite part, uh, cementite part. Okay, this is a very important uh, phase diagram to let to us understand the alloy. So, uh, we need to study this part in this course. course. Okay, um, finally, this is the main aspects of the uh, siderurgy. And it's important to understand all parts. Mainly, this part is very important to understand. We need to, to understand which are the role of different raw materials in, obtain, in the obtention of iron and steel. Okay, this is uh, all the main topics about serology. Uh, in the next, in the third lesson, we are going to discuss the stratimetrology of other units. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much to be here to follow the course. And I invite you to, to enter uh, and this uh, fascinating world of extraterrestrial Thank you very much. My name is Ustafa Nerostepo and I'm waiting for you for the next class. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.